Hey friends, welcome to day 108 of Quarantunes. Hope you're all having an awesome Saturday. I'm feeling pretty good because sports is back. Well, I mean, sort of back, but, uh, you know, it, it's whatever. You know, basketball and hockey, that's my jam. Feeling good. Feeling happy to have that shit back. And, you know, another good thing, it just it's just good feelings all around at the moment for me. At, I mean, you know, despite all the other shit. But... So, I have a song today that I'm going to play that also brings good feelings to me because I always love these guys. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. So we're doing Hollow Notes today. Hollow Notes, a band that I love, a duo, a group that I love so much, unironically. I just love Hollow Notes so much. I'm kind of dedicating this to a couple people out there. So this one, kind of inspired by, uh, at Periwinkle39, who is yesterday wanted me to do a karaoke classic, uh, is what she said. And, you know, I kind of feel like you could belt this out at a karaoke bar or something. Uh, so maybe not. But I know she's a big fan of 80s music, so I got you, girl. And then, also have to dedicate this one to my invisible sidekick, Madeline at Woodswit, because uh, she is my favorite Philadelphian. And these motherfuckers are classic Philly soul here. <laughs> and by that... I'm just joking because uh, they're not actually Philly soul, but sort of they are. They love Philadelphia. Madeline loves Philadelphia. There you go, girl. It's all on you. So yeah, hollow notes. These guys, two, I mean, I don't even really know where to begin here. Hall is right from, uh, from Pennsylvania. I don't think Oates is from Pennsylvania. I want to say he's actually from like New York or something, but they met in Philadelphia back in the 60s, like they were doing like a battle of the bands and they were in opposite bands believe it or not they were fronting different bands and uh at this ballroom in philadelphia and um according to the story some shit went wrong <laughs> and like gunshots were fired at the place and so everybody's scattering and somehow hall and oates daryl hall and john oates find each other in an elevator and they get to talking and suddenly they're like wow we have a lot in common i really like you maybe we should hook up and do a group together and you know what they did and the rest is fucking history because uh wow what a great what a great what a great story the, how they met because i gotta tell you gunshots going off in philadelphia at a battle of the band sounds pretty much like the most philadelphia thing to ever happen and i love that Thank you, world. That's great. So anyway, yeah. Hollow Notes uh, started in the early 70s, hanging out and doing stuff, and then didn't have a lot of success. Uh, you know, we kind of more think of them as an 80s band, and I mean, that's where their big hits were. But they did have some great hits in the 70s, like She's Gone. Oh, I fucking love that song. That's a great fucking song. I wish I could play it, but I don't know. I feel like I need more than just a uke, and I probably wouldn't need Melanie's help, but... She can't be with us today, but I think we're going to get her tomorrow. So anyway, um, yeah, they had another hit. Uh, Rich Girl was a great 70s hit for them. Something else, too. Ah, Sarah Smile, of course, a classic ballad. Uh, lovely, beautiful. They also had that, released that great record where they're, like, covered in, like, makeup and, like, blush. And, like, they look like women, but, you know, Oates has his mustache. So it's just... It's so great. I love that record. I wish I had that album cover to show you. I have a different album cover to show you, though. But they make some great album covers, that's for sure. And I think Hall was quoted as saying that on that album cover, he finally looked like the woman he always wanted to date, which is hilarious. Good job, Hall. Anyway, but yeah, they really didn't get big until the 80s, and that's when they hit with... Uh, you know, Kiss on Your List, and I Can't Go For That, Private Eyes, uh, if, if there's just, there's a whole bunch of fucking songs. Obviously, You Make My Dreams Come True is huge, Out of Touch. There's so many great fucking Hall & Oates songs, and I love Hall & Oates, y'all. I fucking love Hall & Oates so much, and it's just, it's just great. It's just feel-good shit, and it's fun, and, uh, yeah, I don't, you know, it is what it is. You know, I like it. Now, the album that Maneater is on, which is also their biggest hit, by the way, if you can believe it, this song is like their biggest, most popular hit around the world. It was on 
like number one on the charts forever. They hit huge with Maneater. This album and this song came from 1982 on the album H2O, which is a fun play on, uh, you know, Hall and Oats. <laughs> also water, as you can see this nice picture of a sweaty skin, right? Beautiful, beautiful. But really, the gym, the best part of this album isn't just the sweaty skin right here. No, 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 no. No, no, you gotta flip it over to the back because, wow, look at that. Oh my god. Ooh. La la, look at these sweaty gentlemen staring deeply into each other's eyes. This is so great. This is just, it's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, the homoeroticism jumps out and you just can't help but fucking love this shit. This is so good. This was a great record store find. I'm so happy I have that record. It's fantastic. God, what else, what else does it have on this shit? This has got a couple of hits, I believe. Uh... Oh, family man. Ah, oh, that's a great one. Leave me alone. I'm a family man. Ah, one on one. Classic. Also, this ridiculous song that Oates sings lead on, which he, like, you know, hardly ever sings lead. But uh, Italian Girls, it's just so, like, it's. You gotta look that shit up. It's hilarious. It doesn't. It's so bad. It's great. So it's funny that he was, uh, you know, fronting his own band when, uh, he became, like, the backup dude to Hall. But, I mean, you got Daryl Hall. I'm sorry, Oates. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But, yeah, anyway. I guess we should probably get to the song, because this is a super fun one, super easy. I, you know, a lot of these songs are a little more difficult to play than I thought they would be. As I was scrolling through the songs and trying to figure out chords and things, it was like, wow, a lot of these songs are a little more complicated than I would assume, but... I wanted something easy, something fun, and this one fit the mark perfectly, and, you know, it is their biggest hit, so cheers to you guys out there. Alright, so let's do this. A little man-eater, huh? Here we go. Alright.
boy, ho ho, here she comes. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, ho ho, here she comes, yeah, yeah, man eater. Oh, here she comes, she's man eater. Oh, watch in the way, here she comes, she's a man eater. <laughs> there it is, man eater. Daryl Hall and John Oates, a fucking classic from 1982. I hope you all had fun. I love that song. I love that group. They're so good. Uh, and something else I need to, know, to note before I go, because I, there's this, I have this thing. I just love it when people do like ad-libs over the outro, and Daryl Hall is one of the best outro ad-libbers. All that shit. The woman is wild. Ooh, that's my fucking favorite. I love this shit. It's so good. He's, he does great outro ad living. This song, Out of Touch, he's fantastic. Uh, I think he does some pretty good shit on She's Gone as well. He's just, I, but he's not number one though, guys. Number one, I, the champion of outro ad living, Bob fucking Seeger. No fucking contest. Bob Seger has got the most ridiculous outro ad-libbing of all time. He wins against the wind, night moves. It doesn't matter. Any song he's got, he does an outro. He fucking nails the ridiculous shit to throw in there at the end. It's perfect. I love him. God, I haven't done a Bob Seger song. I gotta do a Bob Seger song for y'all. Night moves. I gotta fucking do night moves sometimes. So watch out for that. Maybe this week before, uh, yeah before it all goes away. But uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with something new. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Hopefully Melanie will be with me tomorrow. We can do something fun, something that hopefully everybody will enjoy. And uh, yeah, till then, stay gold and keep the fire, y'all. Peace out.